Good morning, Year 11. You have a test today. I know you really want a test, and it's going to be a 12-mark question. Now, if Lewis is in, please don't play with Brigitte's hair. She doesn't like it. And if Louis is in, don't be getting Jessica to do all your writing for you. Hamal, if you're here, make sure you're quiet. Let Kamara get on with her work and you get on uh, with yours. And Hamoudi, I hope it's going to be experience this morning, not a... Now, you have a prompt sheet to help you with your 12 mark question. Have a look at it very carefully. You get a statement and you literally make a point. You make a point in favour or against a statement. You get one mark for doing that. If you make a point in favour of the statement, then explain your point and link it back to the statement. Keep looking at the statement and think, how does my point go in favour or against the statement? Make three arguments in favour of the statement, two arguments against, and then your conclusion. Or you can do two arguments in favour, three arguments against, and then your conclusion. But do make sure you include a church teaching or a quote from the Bible. So, for example, our famous one, God made humans in his image. That's a great one because you're looking at rights and responsibilities. So, if God made us in his image, then we are all holy. We all have dignity. We should all have respect. And so we all have rights and we have a responsibility to help people keep those rights. You may decide to use instead, Jesus said, love your neighbour as you love yourself. If you love your neighbour as you love yourself, then you love to have your own rights, so you should love your neighbour so that they should have their rights, and you have a responsibility to uphold their rights. What else am I going to tell you? Okay, think carefully. The Catholic Church is all about upholding people's rights because we are all made in God's image. Remember, the Church is not just concerned about Catholics or about Christians. They want to make sure everyone's rights are upheld. So they will work even for those people who are not Christian. Why? Because everyone is made in the image of God. So it doesn't matter if you're Catholic, if you're Hindu, if you're Muslim, if you're atheist. The church wants to see everybody's rights respected. And we have a responsibility, they say, to look after everyone. Think of the parable of the sheep and the goats. Jesus says at the end of time, we will be judged. We will be judged on whether we looked after people or we didn't look after people. If we looked after people's rights, he will be pleased with us. We will go to heaven. We will be like the sheep. And if we did not look after people's rights, then we will be going the other way. But let's not talk about that. Anyway, I think that is everything I need to tell you. Revise really well. Look at the sheets that I've given you, which is this. We looked at it yesterday. Revise well, maybe work in twos. Don't disturb anybody else. And then when um, your teacher gives you a test, do your best to make sure your name is on it, and then I will mark it for you. Do well. I forgot to give you an example of how you would link your point to a statement. So, for example, if it's asking you about how Catholics, individual Catholics, can stand up for the rights, or why they should stand up for the rights of people, you would make your point, and you would say, that everyone has been created equally. So you've made your point. We've all been made equally. Then you develop it and you say, because we've been made equally, we should all have equal rights. No one should have more rights than anyone else. And so we should look after everyone's rights. And so you've linked it back to the, st uh, to the statement. So you make your point, you explain it. But do make sure that one of your points is a religious point. In other words, that you quote from the Bible, remember our two quotes, or you quote something from what the church has said, which you will find in here. Now, 
This is your test paper, but I'm not going to tell you what's on it because it's a test and you'll get to find out soon enough. Enjoy!